Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to the History of Football Manager, my 2023 Advent series. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and thank you for all of the support so far on the series. Of course, we have already delved into the history of Football Manager 2005 and the genesis of the whole franchise, Championship Manager, which was released, of course, back in 1992. And I know so many people enjoying this series, getting involved down in the comments section as well. Today, we are going to be going to my Football Manager genesis and my first ever Football Manager game, which was Football Manager 2008. Really looking forward to getting into this. Um, funnily enough, installed first time with the disc. So, um, yeah, uh, this seems to be one that you can play it on Windows 11, which is all the better for me. Uh, looking forward to getting into it today. But as always, first of all, we have to go to Future Joe, who is going to unbox our Panini countdown calendar for day four. Okay, day four of our Panini countdown calendar is about to be open. So let's see where we are going for Monday, the 4th of December 2023. And it is here with Liverpool at number four. Everton yesterday, Liverpool today. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so a little bit more challenging than usual, but let's open up the door. And it's again a pack of crowds. What do you know? Okay, so there it is in the flesh then. Let's find out what we get for day four. And for those of you that enjoy a good free digital pack, there you go. First come, first served, of course. Now let's see what's in the rest of the pack. Today we have Rico Henry from Brentford, Lyle Foster from Burnley. We have the Nottingham Forest team lineup. We have uh, Ariola in goal for West Ham. We then have a, a Pascal Gross uh, playmaker card for Brighton and a Neto top keeper. Awesome. Right, we will be back tomorrow, day five of our calendar. See you then. Okay, so before we get into some gameplay, I did want to have a little look at the physical edition of this, read you a little bit about the back, and have a look at some of the other physical editions of this game. So, experience the greatest job on earth is what it says here. The best-selling, most realistic, critically acclaimed football management simulation is back. Football Manager 2008, the latest instalment of Sports Interactive's uh, legendary series, lets you prove you could do better than the men in charge. With the chance to manage in 50 countries and more control than ever, lead your team to glory the way you want to. Uh, so more realistic than ever, it says. A confidence, find out any time what the board and fans think of the job you're doing. Club finances reflect the changes in the modern football world, including fan days and collective bonuses, which is still a thing in uh, the 2024 version. Manage money, more flexibility in how you can spend the board's money. Uh, match flow, a better match day experience, linking together match previews, tactics and team talks. Uh, awesome real-time tactical changes, substitutions and tactical changes made whilst the match continues via a new tactics and radar pitch screen. Uh, face gen technology gives a generated player pictures a personality. Okay. <laughs> uh, better and easier than ever. So a complete revamp to include greater media player interaction at scouting, improved player pools and lots more in international management. Transfer centre, one place to go to see all the transfer in, out and uh, offers for your club awards uh, reworked um, awards module including all time game best 11 advisor system um, to guide new managers through the early days of the game new tools including a new calendar view and an improved notebook system and a new skin revised look and functionality to ensure quicker and easier navigation and lots lots more and of course we have got the uh, little uh, manual inside, although calling it little is a little bit of a uh, understatement. This has got how many pages? 51. Okay, not quite as many as Football Manager 2005, but it has got 14 chapters. So a little bit of bedtime reading for you there. But uh, of course, 
in 2008, um, there were other versions, other physical versions that I do own. I absolutely love this game, so I do have it on PSP as well, which comes in uh, with many of the same new features but also has some other ones in there as well um including retirement decisions try to convince your senior stars to reconsider their retirement i wonder if that was in this one before some of the other games we will see uh very very soon this one has a 40 page manual little tiny manual and who remembers these little uh, psp umd things i know some people are feeling very nostalgic uh watching this series and uh another one is uh, football manager 2008 on the xbox 360 now this is the only version that i've not actually played i have bought it fairly recently um but this is the sort of thing i want to delve into with football manager and maybe we could uh, do a save on well at least two of the three i could record off the F X xbox 360 not entirely sure i could do it on the the psp to be fair but uh, there's a 40 page manual as well and uh, definitely will be interesting to see what's in there certainly on the back of the uh, xbox 360 version it looks the same as the pc version so i find that intriguing actually that the xbox and pc were were in parallel uh, back then obviously now they're, they're they're fairly different really the console version and the uh, pc version but let's uh, hop straight into some gameplay so there you go you can see it right here uh, and right now and uh, hopefully you will enjoy watching we're going to start a new game and admittedly the very first time i played football manager on the pc i will show you exactly what i did so select nations uh, england that's fine and um, we want to go down to the the blue square north south um start date looks fine july 2007 uh, we probably want a large database six leagues that sounds good Right, and then you start game, and I tested this out before, and this zip through it, I think, was it about two minutes on Football Manager 2005? I think this will be settled by the time I've finished this sentence. There you go. Quite unbelievable, really. But uh, we can add a, a new manager. Um, yeah, we don't need to sort that out. Um, we do want to put in our name, though. Joe Hannard and uh, our date of birth. I wonder if I'll be able to have... Oh, I can have 1997 again. They are allowing me to have it, <laughs> which is cool. Right, September 1997. Perfect. Uh, nationality English. That's good. Uh, can't be bothered with a picture. Select favourite team. Uh, can I do that? Do I have to double click it? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, ah, search. Aha, uh -huh. I see it now. Right, Newcastle. Yeah, that's fine. Just want to see if uh, South Shields are indeed in the game. I don't think they will be, no. I think this was just slightly before they came back into existence. Uh, we, well, th this, so this... <laughs> So this is where I went wrong. I clicked England there, um, I think. Or was it on Nations? Uh, maybe I went into nationality, uh, went to England. So my first ever job on Football Manager 2008 on the PC version of this game was managing England. And I remember we won the World Cup in 2010. We played Colombia in the final. Um, it was awesome, actually. Playing David Beckham, of course. Yeah, absolutely obsessed with with David Beckham back in the day. Um, but one I really remember fondly, and that's who I'm going to go for today, was Leeds United down in League One back then. Jermaine Beckford, do you remember him? I remember Leeds, I think, beat Man United in the FA Cup uh, away from home in this year. They beat them at Old Trafford, and I think it was Jermaine Beckford that scored the winner in that game. And I, I, I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be um, Leeds manager. Uh and I, I really, really enjoyed that series. Um, and, and looking at the, the inbox, I remember there, there was a four-year plan. There you go. There you go. They want to win the Coca-Cola Championship by the end of a three-year plan. 
that is so cool, in my opinion. Uh, in terms of your contract, you've been given a deal until June 2010 on 2200 per week. Um, they're affectionately known as United. Um, but there you go, at the end of a three-year plan. So I see, have I been given... Yeah, I've been given a three-year contract, um, which is fantastic. You never really get that these days, do you? Um, they want a respectable league position in League One. Um... FA Cup, they want to reach the fourth round, which of course they did in real life. Uh, Johnston's Payne Trophy, they want to win that. Um, and League Cup, they want to reach the third round. I mean, fourth round, the FA Cup is quite ambitious for a League One team. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that. So they've given us a £1 million budget, but if you up the expectations, then they of course will... Um, allow you to do that as well. I'm just going to say we're going to be the winners. Uh, but I want to have a look at this lead squad. Obviously, things look very, very different to what they did um, in Football Manager 2005. But in many ways, they, they look very similar as well. Um, but it does just look a lot nicer, in my opinion. And you can see up here very easily what you want to do. Where is he? Jermaine Beckford. There's the man himself. Can't remember, was he on, on loan at, at Leeds? Um, no, he, he did he did play for Leeds uh, and was was an awesome player. I mean, let's have a look at his coach reports. Yeah, he's a, a four-star player. Cool. Very, very cool. I don't quite know what happened there. Um, but yeah, th this is going to be an awesome, awesome video. Uh, let's have a look at the tactics. Obviously, very, very similar to... Um, leave me alone. Always leave me alone. That's fine. Um, very similar to 2005 in this way. And obviously, if you wanted to, to change your formation and that sort of thing, um, you could. You could go into... Uh, where is formation? Where, where's it gone? <laughs> I'm saying it's nice and easy. Where is it gone? Tactics? Standard tactics? Aha, here you go. Right, so we... But I think we probably want a 4-3-3 attack. And this looks pretty good, actually. Um, God, Flo. Did he used to play for... Yeah, Chelsea. Wow. Goodness me, Leeds had some decent players, didn't they? Maybe maybe we want uh, an attacking 4-4-2 then. Yeah. I Maybe. We want Flo up top with uh, Beckford. Johnny Housen, good player. Maybe we want a diamond then. Let's go for that. Uh, Andy Hughes. Fraser Richardson. Ben Parker there. Left back. That looks good. Um, Rui Marquez. I seem to remember he was he was decent. He used to play for yeah, Stuttgart. And yeah, Rui Marquez. Um, then you've got uh, Paul Huntington. I assume he's, he's good. Uh, we're going to have Ch -ch -ch David Prutton there. We'll have Sebastian Carole there. Uh, Felipe de Costa on the left hand side. Yep, that all looks good to me. Uh, oh, yeah, we Casper uh, Angergan. Yep, that looks okay then. Very small squad, isn't it? Which is uh, quite funny, really. Let's have a look at our transfer policy. Is that going to be here? No, that's training, I think. Is that training? Yeah, so you can you can change the, the schedules and things. It's not obviously anywhere near as um, detailed as Football Manager 2024. You've got your scouting things here. What's that shortlist? Uh, that's the player search. So who were our free agents back in 2008? Uh, that's, of course, who I like to look at, isn't it? Filter. Is it? Yeah, customize. There we go. Add condition, contract status. That looks good. Um, let's even take off the unrealistic targets one. Jerry Littman, uh, Litt Littman and Wow, Quinton Fortune. <laughs> hey, that's a name from the past, isn't it? Wow. Uh, let's sort that by international. This is the way I still play football manager, to be fair. Dado Prusso, I seem to remember him. Cleberson. 
Who's he wanted by? La Havre. Okay, some decent teams. Uh, Rob Lee. Who, who did he play for last? Wickham in League Two. <laughs> Rob Lee. Rocket Jr. there. Yeah. Hatem Trebelsi. Man City. Wow. What a player. What a player. He's not interested in joining Leeds, though. <laughs> um, yeah, looking at Caps. Anybody there of interest? Obviously, if you guys spot anybody, do let me know down in the comment section. It is rather small for me. I think it's slightly bigger for you guys. Um, I'm playing on a, a 4K screen here. Ray Parler. Ray Parler, 34 years old. Um, I think he'd be a decent signing for us, to be perfectly honest with you. And yeah, he's, he's quite happy. 825k per week. Um, let's just offer him that. That's fine. Um, I feel like bringing Rob Lee in as well. 425 quid. Go on. You can have 400, matey. And you can like it. He's only he's 41 now. Crikes. Christ on a bike. Um, that was the England team there, wasn't it? Can we look at that? There you go. Ben Foster, David James, Paul Robinson, the three guys at the top. Micah Richards, big mix. There, Ledley King. He's a, a name I've not thought about for a long time. Owen Hargreaves, Michael Carrick. Kieran Richardson. Wow. Andy Johnson. Some really cracking names in there. Who's in the under-21? Scott Carson, Joe Hart, Gary Cahill, under-21, by the way. Tom Huddleston, Danny Simpson, Lee Catamull, Mark Noble, James Milner. <laughs> and then into the under-19s, uh, anyone here that is now a star, I mean, Fraser Forster is probably the one that has done the most there. Theo Walcott, of course. Henri Lansbury, Andy Carroll, Daniel Sturridge. So, that you know, there were some good players back then. Scott, Scott Sinclair, Adam Hamill. Uh, let's have a little look at the, the league in there. Steven Gerrard plays for Liverpool in the English Premier League. So, any big shocks? Obviously, Derby County, that was their record poor season that year. Wigan Athletic up there. Portsmouth, Reading, Middlesbrough. All up there. Uh, if you go now, drop down to the championship. Um, Coca-Cola championship back then. What a sponsor as well. Barnsley, Blackpool, Bristol City, Burnley. Any big shocks in there? I don't think so. It looks like a, a fairly similar championship to what we have in real life. Obviously, League One is where you... Oh, we've got 15 point. Point deduction. Of course, that's why it was such a cool save. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. How Leeds stayed up that season. I mean, I've told the board I'm going to win the title, but we're 15 points down on everybody else. Going to get sacked. Going to get sacked. Macclesfield still in there. Dagenham and Redbridge. Chester. You know, they are a, a Conference North team now. If you look at uh, the Conference North and Uneaton up there, Solihull, Hinkley, wow. Interesting, very, very interesting indeed. Blue Square Premier. Yeah, don't even have Gateshead on there. Interesting, right, okay, let's continue on. Let's get into a match and see what the gameplay is like um, Dennis Wise, of course he was the manager back then. Crikey. Right, Ray Parler's going to sign for us, which is nice. I think that's a decent sign, and actually. Let's have a look at his report. Yeah, four star. Um, he's somewhere off that standard, apparently. He's a good signing for Coca-Cola League One side, so, which, which is good. Rob Lee, let's see what his uh, star rating is. Probably half a star. He is 41 after all. But of course, former Newcastle player, we've got we to give him the benefit of the doubt. One star. Good sign for League Two sides, though, to be fair. 
Yeah, that's fine. Right. Um, I think we want Ray Parler there instead of Prutton. And then Prutton can probably go on the right-hand side. You think? Put Prutton there. Yeah. I like that. Right. Okie dokie then. Uh, team instructions will want to be a bit more attacking, a bit more creative freedom, shorter passing, slightly higher tempo, more closing down. Yeah, I like that. Right. Counter-attack. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. Here we are then into our first match. We're playing Werder Bremen, to be fair. It's going to be a tricky one. This is what team talks were like back in the day. Um, there was a very um, interesting uh, comment, actually, and, and um, they were saying, I suppose in, in 20 years or so, you'll look back at Football Manager 2024 and go, oh, my God, it's, it's very basic um or it used to be basic uh compared to what it is now so here we go then uh we want the match speed to be there we'll up the highlight speed a little bit and uh thankfully it is a little bit more visible here's a prutton on the ball what's he going to do with it gets it towards uh jermaine beckford who scores there you go jermaine beckford who i said was an awesome player back in the day has just stuck it into the back of the net and made it 1-0. That's what we are talking about, everybody. Right, we're going to exit that replay. I'm going to take replays off. That's all good. Okay. Good tackle by Da Costa there. Pushing forward. Excellent ball. And there's Beckford again. Can he make it too? Great save from the goalkeeper. Great save. And this was the, the only view back in the day. Obviously, this was the last year of... Um, exclusively 2D graphics. 2009 was the first for the 3D graphics, um, which is obviously uh, a, a big upgrade um, and, and really the last proper big upgrade to Football Manager that we've had, I would suggest. Um, obviously, that's all going to change with FM25, so looking forward to that in... November time next year, I suppose, but still currently loving FM24 and uh, our series at the moment. That's a, a nice little flick on, and here is a chance. It's a, it's into the back of the net, and that was Flo, I think, was it? There you go, Tori Andre Flo makes it Leeds United 2, Werder Bremen 0. Very good. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Right, here we go. They're pushing forward again. This is great chance. Just fizzes wide of the post. But yeah, lots of, it seems lots of people jumped into the series in FM 2008. Um, lots of people I talked to seem to say this was the first one that they got into, which is really interesting. Um, then The next one for me after this was uh, Football Manager 2000 and um 10 uh because i got this sort of two or three months before fm10 came out and then uh, once fm10 came out never really went back to this other than we did do a a mini series uh with newcastle united that that was towards the start of my channel um coming out and yeah i enjoyed that one i don't think i finished it but did enjoy it nonetheless we had uh, Michael Owen on the thumbnail. All good. Uh, he has Werder Bremen with a chance off the bar, I think. Or was it a save from the goalkeeper? I think it was a save in the end. Two minutes of added time. And this is one of the things I absolutely love about these older football manager games is that they just absolutely fly through um, the games and the seasons. And you could just sit there in a night and get halfway through a season. Because, uh, as I say, there wasn't all of these, um, you know, stupid player interactions and this, that and the other and training routines for you to check and scouting meetings for you to attend and it, agents offering you players. And, you know, as much as those are great in the game and so immersive, sometimes you do just want to sit down 
and just play some football manager and feel like you can take on the world. <laughs> anyway, here they come. I know, still can't really read the names, but uh, what a shot that is. What a save by Anka Grin there. And I have to say, we are playing pretty well here, considering we are going to zoom the highlights forward a little bit. Good save. And still going now. Here we go. Still pushing. This is a good chance, actually, to whip it in. Oh, Johnny House and offside. Unlucky there. But, yeah, Diamond seems to be working well. Hughes is cleared, and that's a great ball over the top. Oh, it's in. It's in. Was that a chip? It might well have been. It doesn't say. Leeds caught napping. Oh, it would be a devastating blow if we were to, to lose this from this position. Because we've done pretty well so far. Here's Housen. Housen forward. And there's Prutton on the right-hand side. What can he do? Whips it in. It's bouncing around in the area. Shot and what a goal from Jermaine Beckford. No, it's not. It's Johnny Housen. <laughs> it's Johnny Housen, everybody. And he scores. And it's now Leeds United 3. Werder Bremen 1. Excellent stuff. But yeah, th this was one of my fondest saves in FM08 but as I say you know most of my time on this game was spent managing England by accident and I think I, I also managed Bolton perhaps on this uh, game as well and this is Flo it could have been four there could have been four it's nice to be back with it, the 2D view, isn't it? But what I'm really intrigued, the next Football Manager game we're going to play um, is FM11. I'm trying to go in sort of three-year um, gap so that we can see a bit of a difference between the games. We are going to go back and, and play the other ones as well. Um, obviously, 2006, 7, um, and, you know, 9 and 10 when we get to it. Um but it is uh, going to be interesting to see the, the sort of step up in quality from this game to FM 2011, which is another game I remember very well. I had uh, a Swansea City save before they got to the Premier League, I believe. Um, and I, I remember being able to sign all sorts of great players. Um you know, I think I had Neymar before he was a big thing. There was this kid called um, Luis Gustavo, I think was was that his name from from Brazil. I think Luis Gustavo was um, a regen. I just remember being able to sign all these players. I had Rio Ferdinand in the team. I managed to win the Premier League with Swansea, which was which was my first proper. Big achievement on Football Manager. But this this is what started it. This is what started the addiction. And I still have such a love for this game. And it is still awesome. I think it's such a polished version of the the game. And, yeah, I, I think, you know, when we do do our future, playing a season of every Football Manager game, this is going to be the one that, that I absolutely love and cannot wait for. But yeah, absolutely awesome. So do let me know your um, your memories of this game down in the comments as well. I have been really enjoying uh, reading those over the over the last couple of days. Uh, highlight being somebody saying they played it for thirty hours straight and um, did a network game and, and all sorts, and it was it sounded awesome. So do please keep letting me know. That's what this series is all about. Just invoking that nostalgia. And uh, having a little delve into the games, you know, not necessarily looking at every single detail, every single feature of the game, but at least just getting a flavour of what was going on and, you know, some of the players that were around, some of the teams and some of the positions that there were and challenges like Leeds United being on 15 points uh, deduction. You know, that's, that's something that I'd completely forgotten and erased from my mind. What a shame that is, though that Werder Bremen have just equalised here at the end. And I, I suppose, you know, we haven't made any 
uh, changes or anything. We just sort of let it let it happen. But yeah, it's a decent um, a decent result really. Three three against a, a Bundesliga team. We are League One. We're not expected to win those sort of games. But I think that is where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did too. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager videos. Of course, we've got the Daily South Shield series uh, on Football Manager 2024. And we have got another 20 videos in this series but i'm really glad you're enjoying it so far keep up the support and i'll see you tomorrow for the next one which is going to be championship manager 2007 but not on the pc hmm